friends welcome to my youtube channel excel with basim today we will see a small calculation in excel see i have taken receipts and payments a small table i have taken i have named this range as receipts range and this range i have given a name called payments range i will remove these two ranges and give it again see i have said go to formulas name manager see here you will find whatever name uh, ranges we have named or cells we have named whatever names we have given to normally we give names to a cell or a range of cells so both these ranges i am deleting both these names i have deleted now let us go again and give a names select from here to here a c4 to c19 this is see this this is name box go to this and just say the receipts range you can't uh, give a gap here similarly go to this range you leave this one cell go to this and call this payments range we can sell we can take a whole column as a range in when a situation where is such a situation is needed okay this here this is receipts range see you can go to this name box when you click on receipts range it will show the receipts range when you go to this name box click on payments range it will show the payments range see you may be see i have got only one sheet here sheet 1 you may have 255 sheets from the last sheet if you go to this and click on this range you will come to this first sheet see i have gone to this place sheet 2 i'll i'll click on this see normally i come to this place okay suppose i want to enter some data okay let's go in normally if the receipts side if this side is more if the value is more on the receipt side we total this up first then we go to this place take this total here and see the difference between this total and the payments let's try to do this here if payments are if receipts are more you should get balance here no you should get your balance here if payments are more you should get balance here technically speaking in accounts there is nothing called excess of payments it is not possible you cannot make a payment unless you have money you cannot make you cannot pay more than what you have but for the purpose of excel we are showing excess payments also okay if payments are in excess of receipts the figure will come here if receipts are in excess of payments the figure will come here the difference figure will come here let us try to do this uh 
we'll start with uh, this total. I'll take the total here. If uh, some receipts range is greater than sum of payments range, then then what should what value should come here? Then total of receipts should come here. Otherwise, otherwise uh, uh, payments total of payments range should come here. It is asking for another bracket. So this one is come here. Here, go to this place. Say if sum of payments is greater than sum of receipts then uh, sum of payments let's take sum of payments should come here otherwise what should come here sum of receipts another bracket it's asking for another bracket okay now so here what I will do is if if uh, sum of receipts range is greater than sum of no 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 sum of you should first come here you should say normally if payment if receipts are more then the value should come here no so we will start from here if uh, uh, sum of receipts range is greater than sum of payments range then what it sh what should should show here it should show it should say excess of receipts over payments double quotation close comma otherwise it should be it should remain blank see here since uh, receipts range is greater it says excess of receipts over payments okay now come here if uh, sum of payments range is greater than sum of receipts range then it should say excess of payments over receipts from otherwise keep it blank as i said there is nothing in accounts technically speaking there is nothing called excess of payments over receipts you can you can pay what you have you cannot pay more than what you have but in excel we are doing it now we have to fill these two columns now here i'll say see i'm i'm applying some logic here you can apply your own logic and uh, one cannot say that there is only one logic there may be countless uh, uh, different types of logics you can uh, form you, you can uh, adapt your own logic and based on the logic you can write your formula so if uh, this I'll, I'll start from here is equal to if uh, this cell is not blank see how it is to, to be written if d20 is not blank 
that means this total minus sorry minus sum of payments okay double quote it is asking for double brackets so okay okay here i will say we already have a formula here we will here we will say if uh, this is not blank uh, then th this total figure minus sum of receipts sum of receipts otherwise what otherwise blank okay let us check if what we have given is correct purchases okay i'll say wages okay okay the going is good now see 5000 if i say if I increase this to 30,000, ah, it says false. It should not say false. Why does it say false? If D20 is not equal to blank, E21 minus payments minus payments otherwise otherwise blank is missing otherwise blank is missing comma double quotations if d20 is not blank then e20 minus otherwise see oh yeah made a mistake here It should come here, not there. See, it is equal on both the sides. We have not uh, provided for such a situation. We are saying more than this or more than that. We have not said if it is equal that we have not provided. No. That happens once in one, one lakh cases. So uh, I will say miscellaneous expenses three thousand see it says excess of payments over receipts 3000 so i'll say other income or miscellaneous income other income i'll say 13000 then 10000 will come here so this is how it works. If we increase expenses here, it will, the figures will jump to the other side. See? Now I will put another 5000 here. It should jump to other. So this will be useful it will be it will be handy tool when you are making small payments for the day and keep it uh, keeping it a record for the time being for the day this will be useful thanks for watching subscribe to my channel Thanks very much.